level I never wanted to have. <laughs> We are at the trailhead, Moab Rim. Alan's with us today, and Ben is over there. Matt is on his way. He's coming, bringing both his rigs. Can't see it, but way out there, if Michelle zooms in. I don't know if she can, but there's cars cleared at the top. We're gonna do this. It may take us a minute. Hey, Ben. Yep. I'm not sure that duct tape holds leaf springs together. Oh, it's guaranteed. <laughs> that's a. That's a. That's a, it's a Moab, Moab fix right there. 100% Moab yep. fix right there. So the keepers were sliding and his leaf springs were coming outside, so he taped them in. They'll hold. Edge, the Moab trail. Squeaking up over here. It leans a little bit, but he's got it. It's good to go. How's that leaning? A little, uh, a little too much for my taste. <laughs> So this is the start of the trail. This is my kind of a trail where it starts quick and you're right into it. Yep. You don't have to bounce across rough rocks for an hour to find one ledge to play on. So we're in the banana this time. The more bears already done this trail, kind of regretting my vehicle selection right now. <laughs> this is narrower than the more bear and it doesn't have any sway control. So Whew. it'll be good. Your heart rate's up. <laughs> All right, this is the main voyage for the FJ on this trail. Yeah, it's locker. Front locker's not on. They're not working. You hear it hissing out of there? My, my uh, things right there. That seal's leaking like crazy in the front. Okay, well, front locker's leaking. <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll fix it. Uh, yep, you sure did. I'm done. Yeah, it's probably the outer. Oh yeah. It's broke. It's a stub shaft. Guess we'll turn him around. Willie's is showing us how to do it. I think I may end up building one of those before long. They're pretty cool. Moab Rim right here. Pretty cool place. Right, so we're going to have a little bit of a job to do when we get back. But my front locker is leaking again, which is no bueno. I'm going to have to figure that out. Either I'm putting too much air to it. It's got all it can be, I don't know. So we'll figure that out. But we didn't need it too much today. We just used horsepower. So we'll ease on to look off into Moab now. There's there's Moab Overlook. <laughs> That's a wrap on the Moab Rim Trail. We're easing off of it go try to find some air locker parts I think get this thing fixed so we can hit uh, Bridget Canyon tomorrow down here I have my first casualty well what's your day we pop, blew a bead oh, pop, yeah. blew the bead. the bead you're a you got broken axles we spent most of the night zip tying the transfer case and stuff in this courtesy of Rhett he brought him some parts so Thank you. best day at work ever Heard old Finnegan say that a lot of times, but I think today is the best day at work ever. We're in, we're in Rory's shop, and Rory's not even home. What you working on, Paul? Matt's already invaded Rory's shop, so we're just helping. Um, yeah, here more. we are. We're gonna figure this out. See if it's. Yeah. If I gotta gut it, or if I can just fix a copper line. I hope I can fix a copper line. Hey, hey we don't have to pull clear part. Hallelujah. That's the problem a good right day. there. Copper line broke. It caught the diff and pulled it over, didn't Sweet. it? Sweet. That right there caused all my problems. I don't know why air wouldn't go into this part from the other one. I mean, oh, well, this is the fix right there. Put a little coupler on it, plumb it back over. Say, if you couldn't fix it, you could always have one of the boys just sit down there and 
blow on it. Be like, I need the locker, blow. Yep. That's good. This is like 15 minutes instead of two hours. So. All right. You know, it's my own fault. When I put this back together, I was in a hurry and I can't for the life of me remember and pushing that line back up inside of there where wow. it needs to go. Obviously I didn't because it chewed it in half, but. Uh, you even mentioned that, Jimmy. You're like, I don't know if I did that or not, but we'll find out. <laughs> we found out. Hey, Paul. Hey, what? You about to make this permanent? It's close. It's, uh, <laughs> I thought I had it permanent last time. We're all going to be back on the trail. Yeah. Yeah. We can go break somewhere else. <laughs> Woohoo! Yep. Yep. We're airlocking again. All right. Finishing off my tire. And this thing's fixed. We'll go wheeling some more. Thanks, Rory. You guys should uh, go check out some uh, Trailmater on YouTube. It's pretty fun to watch. So check him out. Thanks, Rory, for letting us use the shop. Guess who's back? So we got her fixed. We're gonna run up to Hell's Revenge. Go wheeling with Matt, Jamie, my brother. I got Landon piloting my Tacoma behind me. So that ought to be fun. And it's warm enough outside today that I'm here. Yep. So. Shell's a fair weathered wheeler. If it's cold. <laughs> She ain't coming. How's your health so this revenge is experience? I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm no. not even joking. Well, don't have a heart oh. attack. I think she's a little terrified. No, just watch the road. pump fell off the pickup in the Your tank. tank you... gas is on me. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to drop the oh, tank, pull the cover <laughs> off, put the pump back on it and put it back in. I let my kid drive this thing for two <laughs> minutes and he breaks it. What the heck? Pull them off. Do parents ever learn that their kids break really? their stuff? We learn it, but we're, we hope one day you'll change. So we keep giving you chances. This message has been brought to you by Fab Rats and that's off-road recovery.
hold that should come, come down. Open that strap. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I got this in. There we go. All right. Let's pick it up, set it out here, have it. All right, so you're betting, both y'all are betting that it's yeah, just it's, laying in the bottom of the tank, it's come unhooked, it's pumping fuel, but it's just sucking it up and spinning it right back in the tank. Comment below what you think's wrong with it. The hell's gate for that to fall hey, off. Hey, look at that, it fell off right there. Imagine that. That's the problem. We ain't got no gas. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. <laughs> We'd like to point one thing out. Just before we drop this tank, Paul poured five more gallons in. So it's completely full. Because we don't do things halfway. Isn't there Is supposed there... to be a rubber in there? Yeah, it's down in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in. Alan, you thought this was just you and your crew, oh. right? That come in a couple pieces? Yeah, and it that dropped back that. in. What? <laughs> the spring did? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't it? Hey. And right there. Of course it is. In the hardest possible spot to get to it. What if I just stab it with that and lift it out? This is a... This is a positively evil light. <laughs> Got it. I don't know how all this happened, but it happened. Don't break it. Yeah, Dad, chill out. Paul did it, and you guys didn't say a thing. <laughs> What's the odds of that? I don't know. I mean, 100%, because it happened after a like Yeah, 100%, but still. She ain't leaking. We're good. We really have one of those? Oh, yeah, I've been, we've been saying that. It's coming over. My goodness. That's a Harbor Freight to the rescue. It's one of the Oh, you're gonna need some tools. What ones are you? Yep, just like that. Two inches. Okay. Coming over just a little half bit more. A, half an inch. You go. This is. How's it going so far? We're, uh, we're 96%. We got a few more percentage. bolts and then we can flip a switch and see if fuel gauge. Hey, I'm gonna test the fuel pump. There we go. Yeah. You need to have that jack. Me too. I had to do my brakes yesterday. That would have been a fun one to hold that tank up while it took Matt 20 minutes to put that bolt in. <laughs> when we get back to the shop on your whiteboard, I'll show you why you need to hold the fuel pump and why it's important to the fuel system. <laughs> I would appreciate that because evidently I missed that day at school. You know where this wrench came from? Trail 15, Wind Rock in Tennessee. Perfect. It's my lucky, my lucky wrench. I carried it around. Let's lucky enough to make this fire. Sit. My God. Fuel pressure is amazing. <laughs> fuel pump's fixed. We're back running again. We'll uh, ease on out of here. All right, Scott showed up. He's in Moab, finally testing this truck after a year or more or more that I built. So uh, we'll see how it works. So for those of you that don't know Scott, I built that truck like a year and a half ago. You can watch it get built on our channel. The new project, the shop is empty. So Scott's the new project. But he did some finishing work to it, got everything all hooked up. And now he's ready to wheel it, so he's here in Moab with us. Well, we're at Mickey's Hot Tub, if you can't see that.
Man, that mud is gross. It's like a cesspool of a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, been through that one. Okay, check. Been through both. We've had some new developments. Gracie's driving. How is it? It's good. Good deal. She's gonna take oh <laughs> gas break. There you go. People are gonna yell at us for you not having your seatbelt on. Well then I won't be able to see. That's the problem. We're not we're on some flat, easy sandy ground and we're doing like we're doing four miles an hour, so we'll put them on when we need it. Look at that double footing it. She's learning right. She's getting her figured out. First. There you go. Alright, Gracie, Belt, you're fine, just go where the road is. <laughs> you're doing fine. You're doing good. Perfect. How's that? Good. Good fun? Gracie had her turn driving. Now we are headed out of here for some food. We're on our way out. Well, and how's your day of wheeling so far? Pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Like we pretty good. The F day. And ah, then we fixed it. It was gonna break no matter what. <laughs> how's your day going so far? It's a good time. Yeah. Truck went right up the escalator. Like, like butter. Yep. Revenge. No broken parts. Made it through the hot tub, the escalator. We're good to go, so we'll go find us something to eat.